So now in the book, Traffic Secrets, ClickFunnels founder Russell Brunson describes social media like a big party. Your goal is to get attention, to build relationships, and to get them to engage. Uh, but it's not, and I want to be clear, it's not to sell them stuff. The 60 second funnel is the secret behind quickly finding out who in your network is interested in what you have to offer. It is the first step in bringing up your clients on a, a ladder of increasing value. And we can't emphasize knowing your audience's goals enough. Too many content creators only talk about themselves and what they offer rather than the value that it brings to their viewers. Now the purpose of these funnels is, is what? It's to test to see if what is going to help your audience the most today. Um, you don't have to get it perfect. And most people don't the first time, but you do need to choose a single clear call to action uh, that is going to help your audience the most. Um, so the question would be like, how does signing up for this email list help your audience? How does liking, commenting or sharing this video help your audience? If it only helps you, then you really need to think about choosing a different call to action. Because it's not about you. It's about how it benefits them. Now, how do you know? How do you know what will help your audience the most right now? Well, it can be as simple as asking a viewer if that you know, like somebody who's a friend, if they can have just a brief call to see how you can help them today. Just make sure you write all those down, those insights down. Now, if you feel that, and if you feel that you can add value in some area that they're discussing, like consider making a product or maybe even pivoting your business. At the end of the day, our job is to serve others. Uh, and so we're just trying to find out what is most valuable for them. And so whatever we can do um, to provide value, that's that's what we're going to focus on. Now, let's say you're at a point where, okay, great. Mission accomplished. I have recorded my video tutorial or tutorial. That's maybe like it's 10 minutes or longer. Generally, um, you want to make sure that your your posts are 10 minutes or longer. One of the things that you could do is you could post, like say you finished this 10 minute video, you posted it, you made it on YouTube, you could post a direct link to your video on social media platform. But what's the problem with that? What is the problem with a direct link to another video? So keep in mind that the social media makes money by capturing attention and keeping you on the platform. So generally, um, and I think this is key is like generally Facebook doesn't want you to leave their party and say go to the YouTube party. Um, so it tends to promote the, the posts a lot less. Um, it's one of the reasons why a lot of uh, platforms prefer to use like a 60 second video that can keep people on their platform itself. So instead of going and uh, having your people go to another site in order to see your video, they prefer to watch the video live, it'll automatically play you just scroll and then it will start playing. And you can imagine like how much more attention are you going to get if you can live play a video on that platform versus if you are just sitting there and waiting for somebody to to comment or post or something. Um, that's going to make a huge difference for for you. Now, in order for your video to be a useful tool for promotion, you need to create a sizzle reel that is less than 60 seconds. Um, because most social media platforms limit the maximum video length to 60 seconds or less. And also remember the uh, party analogy. So you won't have a lot of time with your prospects. So you want to make it short and sweet. Now our goal is to find the quotes and the stories that are going to stop people in their tracks. Start in the middle of the action of a story or start 
with a quote that really impacted you or made you feel an emotion? Uh, was there a part that made you laugh uh, or a part of the story that warmed your heart? So stop in the middle, middle of the action is very important. Um, so it's something to keep in mind is that we are we are trying our best to to make sure that we we keep going and that we are hitting people right at the beginning. That's that's where it is. And so what can you do? Like if, if instead of like a like a really compelling you're going outside kind of video, this is just an interview um, that is mostly just talking heads. Well, remember, we want to stop people uh, in their tracks. And this is not just about starting with a B-roll image. You need to ask what is a visual that would put people in the middle of the action? So what visual would make your audience laugh? Uh, what would make them feel an emotion, even if they're just scrolling past? Remember that AI is looking at the unconscious milliseconds of watch time. So your ability to make them stop or even just like pause lightly, even for a few milliseconds will make a huge difference for how well your video preview performs. Speaking of those milliseconds of watch time, another way to increase it is to um, increase the scrolling distance of your 60 second preview. What do I mean by scrolling distance? Well, think about this, if you have a post like this one, it's a 16 by nine video, it will usually um, like you said, this is a horizontal 16 by nine video, making it square can actually double the scroll distance of your video, so that it stays on the screen a bit longer. Um, and this is really key because double the distance means automatically you've doubled the milliseconds without doing anything different. Um, this is one of the reasons why I focus so much on the square because square works every it seems to work on all the social media platforms. Um, some platforms even allow you to make it longer with a full vertical video. Uh, but the recommendation is generally that uh, if you're like disrupting the status quo, uh, which a lot of you are, uh, you want to be compatible across as many platforms as possible. So I tend to default to square since it makes the image bigger on most social media platforms, it helps you stand out. Uh, and it seems to work on on most platforms. Uh, like it's just the most compatible version. Now, speaking of social media, you've probably already noticed that most videos don't play with any sound. Uh, in fact, Digital Day found that 85% of Facebook videos are watched without any sound. And so that's why the having the captions burned into the bottom of the video is is really, really valuable. Um, it allows you to uh, like it, it's a way that you can quickly read if you're just browsing like you're just scrolling through the video. Uh, and you can quickly find out if the video is going to be relevant to you um, without having to turn on audio. Now, you might be asking, okay, well, what kind of like text uh, caption caption services are there? Well, um, so some of the examples of text caption services, uh, or I, I tend to use AI transcription services, um, like otter.ai or Simon says.ai. I'm, I'm loving AI services, by the way, I'm a heavy user, early adopter, let's say of AI technology. Uh, the good thing is you get a rough translation fairly quickly, uh, you're still going to need to correct it, there's still going to be mistakes and you're still like, there's, there's no way around it. Sorry, you can you can still spend some manual effort to correct it. But the key is that you want to be able to control how much text appears on your screen at any time. And you can imagine why because the less text that you have, the larger you can make the font and the more readable the captions will be on a phone. Now, should I burn them in? Should I just keep them as like a, a separate caption text caption file? Well, uh, burning the text captions into the video avoids the problem where the text captions are not supported consistently 
across different platforms. I've tried all sorts of things, um, but I found that basically burning it in is the only way to be consistent. Uh, everything else, like you, you're kind of doing it. Like you might have it succeed really well, uh, or you might not. So I, I definitely recommend like burn in, burn in the text captions.